friends, Tosca Reno here. How are you today? How are you today? What day is it? Oh, it's Wednesday. I know, they all kind of run into each other, don't they? Um, and it's a pleasure to be here with you today. It's Tosca Reno, and you know me as the gal who invented eating clean. Yes, um, and took it and made a run for it. Uh, I'm so excited to be with you, and uh, wow, you can watch this with me here in my kitchen on this happy Wednesday. Um, I have been coming to you uh, lots and lots and lots over the duration of the COVID virus, and it is now, we're in week, we're in week eight, yes we are, and uh, on Monday I had promised you uh, that I would show you what's happening in my kitchen. I went uh, shopping, I went shopping. And I kind of exploded things a little bit with my shopping experience because one of the most difficult things I experienced that day was wearing the mask and ugh, struggling not to touch my face. Super, super hard. Okay, so I got a couple comments about that and I learned, you know, it is a habit that has to be broken. But thankfully in my own kitchen, I don't have to wear gloves and I don't have to wear a mask. Woohoo! All right, so you're coming. I'm coming to you live. My name's Tosca Reno. I'm coming to you live from my little tiny kitchen. This is my, my little temporary house where I am right now as I am waiting for that next new place I'm going to live. This will be a new place for me uh, on my own. So no, this is not the kitchen of my dreams, but it doesn't matter what kind of kitchen you have, you can create magic. Um, when I have the ingredients in my house, I feel so blessed that I can create healthy meals for myself and for anyone who's in contact with me. So I'll just do a little spin around. Okay, got a really old fashioned white fridge here and I'll spin around. Some of you have seen a bit of this place, but it is, a, it is actually, um, oh, that's the big light. Let me come over this way. Um, you know, an old log cabin. It's an old style log cabin. It's well over 200 years old. The beams, if you look up are uh, original beams, 200 years old, and this is where I'm living temporarily until I find a beautiful new home where I can run my business from. But today what I thought I would do is invite you into my kitchen, um, as small and as non-professional as it is, so that I can share with you the things that I'm going to do with the things I bought, the uh, ingredients I bought on Friday. <clears throat> so it's me, Tosca Reno, and uh, you can do me a favor, a little bit of homework for you, please. Hello. You can let me know where you're listening from. Uh, my audience has been growing. I'm so excited. And over on Instagram, I got a contest running and that's been crazy. So uh, love to see those numbers creeping up. So we're getting the message out to a wider and wider audience. That's the key. So let me know where you're listening from. Uh, let's do a little sound check. Can you hear me okay? I think so, the sound is up. And also if you're listening on the replay, I'd love to know that. And if you have any questions, all right, hit me up. So let's start over here in my cupboard. I'm gonna, can we flip the camera around? Oh my gosh, can we do that on Facebook? Yes, we can, here we go. Here we go, I'm gonna flip it. Thank you for dropping in. So here's what we're gonna look at right now. You know I'm a big fan of the, um, the what do you call these, the Bragg's ingredients. So that is your apple cider vinegar, and this is liquid aminos, which I totally enjoy as far as a uh, kind of a soy salty experience, quite love that. The next shelf that you're seeing is <laughs> all of my supplements, which I take, which I'm a, I'm a big fan of these, totally enjoy them. And then we're gonna get down to some basics in the cupboard. You see, I have a lot of dried goods. I have um, maple syrup, I have local honey, I have tahini, so I can make loads of dressings with that good quality um, vanilla. I want you to be careful about the, the vanilla you buy because a lot of it is cheaply and poorly made. This little bottle here cost me around 30 bucks. It's legit stuff. You wanna make sure that you're getting some really good quality vanilla, otherwise you're just getting a pile of sugar and alcohol. Um, <clears throat> somebody was asking about uh, MCT oil, particularly for strike sugar, whether or not you can put MCT oil in your coffee. Basically, MCT stands for medium chain, medium chain, uh, fatty acids. Um, and it's, it's pretty much what you find in coconut oil. And sometimes what you can get is the, the, this is organic as you can see, 
but you can get the kind that doesn't taste like coconut for some people who don't love coconut. And I, and I get that, you know, not everybody loves coconut. But it's really good to put MCT oil in your coffee. Here, let me turn it around so I can talk to you for a second. Um, it's really good to put MCT oil in your coffee. And uh, what I like to do is put it in my blender with, um, let's go over here into the refrigerator. Um, yeah, because we're gonna go from the cover to the, so I have um, natural almond butter. And what you can do is brew a cup of coffee, throw a dollop of almond butter in your coffee, throw some MCT oil in your coffee, and then blend it up super in, a, in like a high-speed blender. Uh, if you want to add milk, you can do that too. I like this one particularly because there's not a lot of sugar in it. I always get the plain, 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 okay? Um, and it's oat milk based. It's a plant-based milk made from oats. Um, <clears throat> okay, so, so I'm gonna close that door for a second and go back to my cupboard just so I don't confuse you too much. Um, okay, so now, oh, well, like, come on, seriously, I have spices coming out the wazoo. I'm a huge fan of spices of all kinds. There's another uh, totally amazing selection of spices. Um, makes food taste good, all right, and also <laughs> even more spices, no shortage. Um, I always have a ton of uh, things like onions on hand because onions, celery, and carrots together are known as the holy grail flavor makers. So you can pretty much do anything with a bunch of onions, right? And uh, as we go deeper, oh, sorry, go, sorry, that's a cupboard door. That's not very interesting. Um, and then you can see I've got a bunch of dry ingredients in here. Well, some of them are on the counter, but that's the shelf I keep my dry ingredients on. Um, I get a lot from Bob's Red Mill, um, dates. Uh, now, <clears throat> this container is maybe not the best. I like to put it in glass, but I didn't this time. So I've got a lot of dried dates in there. <clears throat> and then, um, don't know if you know this, this is particularly nice for gentlemen to know, but wheat germ uh, is an excellent source of vitamin E, but particularly a version of vitamin E called alpha tocopherol. Now you don't need to know that, but what you need to know is that wheat germ is the precursor for many of the sexual fluids. Yeah, this is going to be one of those talks. So that if you eat uh, wheat germ, there is something in it that helps stimulate the production of more of the sexual fluids. So that's kind of cool if you're into that. So lubrication, think lubrication and arousal and all that good stuff. Uh, my kids are probably cringing. <laughs> um, okay, and now we're on this cupboard, uh, this shelf, which you'll find I have the extra virgin coconut oil. Um, you have, what I've got here is really good quality skipjack tuna packed in water. It's, it's line caught, so I'm not disrupting the environment. I, I like this particular brand. <clears throat> oh yes, look at this, look at this. I love this. I have got some sauerkraut kimchi. So I can put a dollop of this on my, good morning, Kelsey. Hey, how are you doing? And hi, Terry and Angelica and, oh wow, so many. Bonnie, good morning. So sauerkraut is awesome, kimchi sauerkraut particularly, because you can throw a dollop of that on your salad and get a lot of good fermented nutrients for your gut. So your gut really likes this. Your heart really likes the coconut oil. Your sexual organs love wheat germ. How are we doing so far? <laughs> Having fun? Okay, now if you're gonna drink or use coconut milk as a product, I like this particular one because literally there are no untoward ingredients in it. If you look closely at the label, that's probably hard for most of us to see without glasses, but there's no guar gum or thickeners or other types of agents. It's completely organic. Oh, that's the French. Hello and bonjour. Je peux parler un peu de français, mais pas beaucoup. Mais ici, le, le lait, uh, lait de coco, so coconut milk. And you can use the cream and the liquid from that. Now, um, one of you pointed out this amazing pasta sauce. I like to have a couple on hand. Um, this is amazing because it is Rouse Arrabbiata. And when we looked at the label, be so careful with tomatoes because people sure love to add sugar to the tomatoes. No sugar in this sauce, go ahead and use it. Now in this bin here, oh my goodness, I have dried goods coming up the wazoo. I found this incredible 
um, uh, pasta. It's a green pasta based out of spinach and kale, quite like that one. You can see I have a lot of Bob's um, Red Mill ingredients. I also have nutritional yeast, which is lovely to put in a kale salad for that umami flavor, quite like that. I have brown rice pasta, and then I have another version of pasta that is um, uh, spinach-based and GMO-free. And can we talk quinoa? This quinoa has been coming up a fair bit because some of you have issues with your tummy with quinoa. No matter how much you rinse it, if the rinsing isn't helping, then don't eat it. If the rinsing isn't helping and you're still getting a bellyache, then I would highly, highly recommend that your, your tummy is trying to tell you that's not really a good thing to eat. So now I'm just gonna go on my knees into my refrigerator. Um, yesterday I went and did a little grocery shopping and I wanna introduce you to something that I keep in my refrigerator that I cannot eat, but is always in my fridge. What is that? <laughs> well, I'm gonna tell you what it is. Um, I have in my refrigerator all over the place thank you notes from people, right, who have thanked me for what I have helped them achieve, whether it is wellness, whether it's weight loss, and the thank you notes confer through their energy uh, a feeling of gratitude and that is something that I want to bring into my food. It's the same as if you were to pray over your food before you eat it. Did you know that you actually increase the nutritional value of the food and the nutritional availability of that food when you say prayers over it and give thanks and gratitude? So I'm all over that, all over it. Um, okay, so let's have a little tour now of, I have pumpkin seeds. Um, now with the pumpkin seeds, I often will make, and, and this, this is a great thing to do actually, pumpkin seeds, flax seeds, and even hemp seeds, here you go. And I put though that in a blender and make like a seed nut kind of coating that I can encrust chicken thighs, chicken breast, um, fish if I'm having fish, and even, even if I wanna take a little um, um, ground grass-fed ground beef burger and sort of coat it in that. I love the crunch and I love how when you do that, it gives the, the uh, burger or the meat a little bit of a, uh, an extra dimension of nutrition. So that to me is really good. Um, here's a great kind of noodle you can use, konjac. Konjac is gluten-free. Um, and you can put any sort of tomato sauce like that. Rouse is good on that as well, right? Uh, so I love doing that. Um, I'm going to then, now what about Dijon mustard? Love a good grainy, you know, really deep Dijon mustard. Absolutely fantastic. Why I like that is because it adds flavor. The other day I did a little roast pork tenderloin and I just smeared it with um, this mixture of lemon juice and the Dijon mustard, once again, Dijon. Um, and I actually threw in also, I threw in the flax, golden flax seeds, awesome for menopause, right? Any kind of PMS symptoms, also great for men. Um, and I, I ground up some uh, pumpkin seeds as well and threw that as a coating on top. So I had this, this um, flavor sensation of crunch and I had extra nutri nutritional value in it. Okay, so now let's have a look inside of the refrigerator. You can see I'm really a big fan of, of um, pumpkin seeds apparently. Now my sourdough starter is right here. It's on vacation. Right now, I'm kind of hoping I get a loaf of sourdough from my kids for Mother's Day, who knows. Now, I'm very fortunate, and there's a Sheldon Creek Dairy close by to me so I can get plain yogurt. And I always get full fat plain, but I use yogurt to make my uh, bircher muesli. I also use it with my, oh, let me just pop over here and get the Green Shake product. So hear me turn this around so you're not looking at a blank space. So um, I use um, a lovely protein powder. I'm trying to move things out of the way here in the cupboard. Um, it, for which mm, you are all asking me questions. We're gonna try to set up some answers for you. But what I do is I mix my, my green shake. I'm gonna turn this around now. Um, my green shake with my natural plain vanilla, a dollop of that. 
And I'll throw in some blueberries if they're in season. I'm trying really hard not to buy blueberries out of season. So in that case, what I do is I have frozen blueberries, which are harvested at their peak and much kinder to the environment. Okay, so we'll get back into there in a minute. Um, <clears throat> I have a lot of greens because um, salads for me are just a great way to have lunch. And so you'll see also that I always have some hard boiled eggs. This is my lunch combo right here. So I'll take those eggs out to warm them up a bit. And then I can throw on any combination of seeds and nuts that inspire me today because I always just have them right there ready to go. And um, so yeah, so that's gonna be lunch. I might as well take my salad out too. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm making you dizzy. Now down here we're getting into, okay. So, so this, is, this is a former vestige of my life as a bodybuilder, right? Um, one dozen of eggs makes me okay, but a little nervous. Two dozen makes me feel much better. <laughs> Magic. Three dozen, and I am a super happy camper. I need to have that many dozen eggs in my fridge because whether I'm baking or eating, this gives me really quick nutrition. Um, I also have a lot, again, of the flavor makers, carrots and celery, right? Which carrots, celery, and onions are the trifecta of flavors. So at any time, I can make a flavor or create a flavor base for savory foods using carrots, onions, celery, but I can also have them as raw vegetables. Same with cucumbers. I have cucumbers, which is fantastic. I have lettuce, I have kale, and what I love also are these little pre-mixed bags of salad. So I can take this and throw it on top of just greens. That, that happens to be romaine right there. But see, then, then I'm adding, like you're supposed to have five vegetables a day. I think I probably have 10. So I would say I would have the romaine as my base, and then I would throw a handful of this, which means I'm getting at least five more vegetables. And that way I'm really pumping up my nutritional value. Um, okay, in here I've got Brussels sprouts, which I chop, by the way. I can chop them up and eat them raw also in my salad. I have rapini. Now rapini, it's all been washed and everything. Rapini, is, it's bitter. It's really excellent for cleansing the liver. Um, oh, you can see I have some, some herbs. I have rosemary. Rosemary is very powerful for an anti-aging supplement as well as boosting your, I'm gonna say no, I'm gonna say that right, supporting your immune system, strengthening. It offers nutritional value uh, to your immune system like crazy. So rosemary is something you really have to have. Raw, like raw onions, green onions are easy to eat. So for this, all of this is gonna help me make a salad. Um, and I really like that. But the other thing I often do is I will just take my, my Brussels sprouts and I will roast my Brussels sprouts along with some carrots and some squash, squashes over there. Okay, so let's um, turn the camera around for a second. If any of this is uh, of interest to you and you wanna learn a bit more about it, you can always go over to Tosca Reno, my website. That's where you'll find me. And uh, I have a resource page called Tosca at Home in which I have included a bazillion recipes and resources for you to stay healthy at home. And I love that because I don't want you to go through the pain that I once went through when I was so unwell. At one point, I weighed over 84 pounds additional to what I'm weighing now. So I was 204 pounds, definitely obese um, and unwell, blood sugar dysregulated and all the rest of it. So not good, not good, not healthy. Um, and I've learned to eat well and change my life and help others learn how to do the same for themselves. Okay, enough of the lecture. A little bit about just my lifestyle. Check this out. I have a sort of a green wall of lots of plants right? Just plants that I grow for fun, but also parsley, basil, a little more parsley. I'm rooting some, um, you can take an old cut off part of a lettuce, and I know that doesn't look very happy, but it's starting to grow new leaves. So you can actually just grow those and then throw them in the garden. And same with the ends of your, um, your, your green onions. So don't throw them out and go ahead and, and sprout them. And then when the weather gets good, you can actually throw those in the garden. 
I also do cuttings of my green plants. So you can see here, there's a, this called kangaroo ivy, and it's getting some little shoots coming out of it. And this is a Hoya, and you can see that that has sprouted like crazy. It's a gift from my mom. And I have a little tomato plant. I mean, I'm just kind of, you know, what can I say? I'm my father's daughter, and uh, green plants really do it for me. He, he had his degree in gardening. Um, and yesterday something happened uh, to me, which was very sweet. My mom, um, we had spent some time together, and she gave me something that my dad gave her on the very last trip that they shared together. So when you're in the kitchen this week thinking about um, your life, maybe extend your thoughts beyond yourself to your mother or your father. It's Mother's Day this weekend, and my mother is 85 and came through the occupation through World War II, um, Holland had been seized. Actually, yesterday was the anniversary of the what's called the Bevereidings, which is the Dutch liberation uh, from German occupation, uh, or more specifically, Nazi occupation. So my mother remembers that day very, very uh, deeply. Um, you know, hashtag if that's an emotion for you too, but it was quite emotional, and I was very pleased to hear our Prime Minister recognize the friendship that the Netherlands have with Canada and what the Allies did, what the friends did to liberate those people. So you always learn something new with me when we're talking about all kinds, not just food. Now I wanna just point the camera down for a second and show you. These are the, now that I just took them out of the freezer, but these are my meat alternative burgers. And this recipe is made with black beans and really basically all the ingredients that I showed you in my cupboard they are excellent. They freeze beautifully. And all you need to do is give them a little grill in the pan, or I haven't tried them on a barbecue yet, and put them in a bun and you've got a lovely plant, or sorry, meat alternative burger. I beg your pardon. Um, all right, so then we also have, uh, I often have squash on hand because squash is a food that keeps well sweet potatoes and yams. This is a yam. It's a different color than a sweet potato. A little starch here. See, there's a sweet potato. That's a yam. I use them both because I like to roast them. Let me turn this around again. I like to roast the squash and or the sweet potatoes and, and use them as sweet and savory additions in my cooking. And when I have them on hand, I know I can always reach for something to thicken a soup or whatever. Now you're gonna ask me, okay, soup, Check this out, I always have broth on the go. So there is some broth that has been simmering away. I'm about to um, strain it. I'm about to strain it and put it into a jar and store it. Okay, now let's go on to some, where can you find the black burger recipe? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. You see, now I'm squinting. I've gotta just grab my glasses. <laughs> All right, so um, the black burger recipe is exactly um, on. Hi Jane, how are you doing? It's on my website, okay? And the website is toscarino.com and it's my Tosca at Home Resources page. I just wanna acknowledge Kirsten. Hi, um, hi Kirsten, and you're sharing that your mom, uh, Sudetan German and forced to leave Czechoslovakia after the war. Yes, so, so, so many. It's emotional, it really is. Wow, um, hi Brenda, and we're gonna be talking shortly too. How are you? Yes, uh, at the top of the hour. Um, hi Jackie, thanks for sharing that you love seeing the lifestyle. I, this is for me, I'm such a visual person. I just need to be able to see, I'm gonna turn off this big ring light because man, oh man, it is blasting. Let's just turn it off. I love it, but it's a lot of light. Um, it, you know, This for me is the way I learn and, and I show, and I think pictures with the show and tell are just wonderful. So um, thank you for commenting, and I, I do enjoy sharing this way. I think having a little peek into what I do and why I do it is pretty fabulous. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna make happiness with this light once and for all. Um, but you know, and, I, and also I wanna show you this because I wanna show you that it's not a lifestyle that I make up. I don't sit behind a desk and say, mm, let's see if this works. I actually do it, I live it. You know, I, I would show you my compost heap if you wanted to see that in my garden. We, maybe we'll take a tour because I am doing my garden. But you'll, you'll know that when you come into my kitchen, if you were to surprise visit me and come into my kitchen, which by the way, I invite you to do if you like, you will see things that I do that are actually part of the lifestyle.
So I'll, I'll just point the camera um, away from my kitchen sink and show you here's something that I'm doing right now. I'm soaking peas. Now, why do I soak? So, so here are the peas in a jar, right? And I want to make a pea puree. So why do I want to soak my peas? I want to soak my peas and my nuts and my beans and my grains because I want to get the most nutritional value out of them. And when I soak them, at least, you got to do at least four hours. Let me flip the camera around. You must soak be, uh, peas, beans, legumes, nuts, seeds, at least four hours, but preferably overnight so that you can open them up. You can open them up, remove the coating that keeps them closed, which water does, and rinse that off and then have these nutrients more readily available. So when I made these black bean burgers, for example, recipe at Tosca at home on the Tosca Reno page, um, I actually soaked the black beans first overnight then I cook them, which by the way, shortens the cooking time and releases more nutritional value so that you're getting more money. Actually, buying dried legumes is cheaper than buying canned ones. I know, I know, the canned ones are really convenient. I totally get that. Now, the other things that I soak would be millet, right? And millet is a beautiful gluten-free grain that adds a lot of protein. So you wanna maybe consider adding millet to your diet um, and I'm going to finish soon. I don't, I also would like to remind you, um, that you are invited to head on over to my Instagram page. If you don't follow my Instagram and I kind of know you don't maybe because there's a lot more Facebook followers than Instagram followers, but here's your invitation. I'm so excited to share this with you. I'm running a F U N N fun giveaway contest this week because I thought we are eight weeks into quarantine and it looks like we're going to be at this for a little while longer. It's time to have some fun. It's time to celebrate. So I'm giving away uh, prizes every single day this week. Yesterday we had a lovely woman win my green shake and fit commit giveaway and that's what we're giving away today. So the green shake powder that I showed you, which I had this morning, I really did, um, is worth a uh, hundred dollars and my, my is it $100, 150? And the, uh, the fit commit is, is 200. And so you're getting a 350 US prize package. So all you need to do is head on over to Instagram, go over to Tosca Reno, find me there, T-O-S-C-A-R-E-N-O. -E and would you follow me? Would you do that? Would you help me grow my audience? And would you also tag a friend? It's much more fun to do things together with someone. So please tag a friend. Please jump into the fray, send a comment, send me a message as to why you think you should win the prize. And, um, and if you're listening on the replay, feel free. Yes, so Catherine, I'm telling you now, you head on over to Instagram. Hopefully you have the app, which a lot of fun there, lots of pictures, like it's a really a lot of fun. So head on over to the Instagram app, search for Tosca Reno with the little search icons, T-O-S-C-A-R-E-N-O, -E find me. And then on the most recent post, which is today's post, because there's always a new post every day, just go ahead and make a comment like, I'm listening, thank you, and please tag a friend. You will have a better chance of winning if you tag a friend, um, if you make an interesting comment, if you put a lot of hearts, if you share this with someone, that's also really powerful. Um, and that helps me get the word out. And your love of eating clean helps me spread the word of my love, which is my passion for wellness, is, is you. You're the one that I care about. And that's how you can win. So we have prizes every day this week. We have a grand prize on Friday. So that's gonna be exciting. And the drive is happening. We're just, we're just, I think we needed to have some fun. It's time to stir it up. So these are the kinds of things you can expect from hanging around with me, Tosca Reno. Plus, there's a big surprise in the offing that we've been working on super, super hard. We heard your questions about menopause. Sorry guys, if you're listening, but maybe this is of value to you too, don't worry. Um, I think it's gonna be a really fantastic session. Uh, that's something new that's coming in the next few months, but for right now, all I need you to do is share the love. And yes, I'm coming to you on Facebook, but your homework, your homework is to get on over to Instagram, navigate to me, Tosca Reno, and comment on today's post, and you may be the lucky winner of a grand prize of my Fit Commit package and the Green Shake. And why I love the Green Shake is because it is a clean, 
protein powder that I can get behind that has loads of plant-based nutrients in it, no sugar, no harmful chemicals. And why I love Fit Commit is because it is a serious, solid fitness program, four weeks long with recipes and menu that I used as a competitor to get ready. Now, do you need to be a competitor? When I say get ready, get ready for contest. Do you need to be a competitor? No, you don't. No, no, you don't. But you might like a four week training program with me where I'm telling you what exercise to do every day and what to eat at each meal so you don't have to think about it. How does that sound? Would you like to get in on that kind of love? I hope so. So head on over to my Instagram page and love it all up. And if you want the recipes I've been talking about that I make right here in this little simple kitchen, go on over to toscarino.com and go to my Tosca at home resources page, which I built for you because I love you and I don't want you to suffer in pain like I did for years before I figured out how to eat clean and exercise and practice emotional self-care. So go on over, that's your job. Let's blow it out of the water. Yesterday we had one beautiful, amazing winner. We had another beautiful winner on Monday. Wednesday is wide open for all of you folks. I'm looking forward to meeting you. All right, thank you. Have a wonderful rest of day.